come walk with us tonight as we delve into Spirits of the South. <laughs> If you ever find yourself walking down in the historic district of Mobile, Alabama, walking down South Catherine Street, when you come to the corner of Monterey Place, you might want to take another look around. Right there on the corner is a house. The house was built in 1897. This house, a beautiful and Victorian house, was once home to one of Mobile's finest educators, Miss Kate Shepard. The house was designed by George Franklin Barber. Kate, along with their sister Isabel, started a boarding school from 1910 until Kate's death in 1952. In 2002, it was turned into a bed and breakfast by a couple from Louisiana. A couple of years ago, it was sold to the current owner.
So we're waiting for it to get dark before we start investigating. The street outside is kind of busy, kind of loud. So we're going to do this and hopefully we'll be able to find something. After laying out my gear, I grab my K2. All right, I'm doing a walkthrough with the K2 of the room. Just to show you there ain't no kind of email. <clears throat> Come up from anywhere. No kind of little spikes. Little bathroom. So we got a, base, a clean baseline. Now, if this goes off tonight, you're gonna know something's going on. So let me go through here again and try to get a reading. This is what I was talking about. Appliances right here. this way somebody in here
Can you talk to me? Look at that. Can you make this light up? Awesome. Can you do it again? Awesome. Where are you at? Can you go this way? I don't think it went this way. Can you make it light up red? Well, I think we're kind of getting somewhere now. Look at that shit. Can you make that light up for me? Can you make it go up a little bit more? Did you come in here? Can you walk in here with me? Where'd you go? Are you still in here? Don't look like you in here. Come down here. <coughs> Not down here.
right, everybody, I'm back. I've got everything set up. It's dark outside. I've got stuff running right at the second. So, I am going to be showing y'all how I get everything set up. So, right now, I've got a camera right here that is facing this direction, which is pointed mostly at the uh, bear and the rim pod right there, along with the K2 meter. I've got a camera right there that's facing towards this direction, towards the bed. Like I said, I've got the bear with the rim pod, the K2. I've got an audio recorder going. Thermal thermometer, digital thermometer. We got the balls, got a lumen reader, another camera that is facing that direction. So if something goes to move anything or do anything towards the door, it'll be right there. A second digital thermometer. Have a camera right here that is facing that direction. And covering the bathroom right here. This is supposed to be the most active room in this place. As you can see, the temperature alarm is going off on the round pod. Zero that up. And we just gonna take a walk with the thermal camera. That is my reflection. That is a lamp bush right there. That's me. My reflection through the window that's right here. I said that was me. Yeah, that's me. So if y'all see anything, y'all stop me. It does tend to freeze up from time to time, especially when you're moving. So, I'm trying to figure out what that is because see. That is a floor vent. Mm -hmm. 
that's a guest room that's my reflection again that's one thing you have to be careful of with these things is the reflection of showing off a glass anything reflective right here is tv display case That's me in the display case again. There's glass all around this place, so you gotta be careful because you'll cut stuff like that. Let's see, thermal, thermal. Something keeps interrupting the Wi-Fi in here. All right, so I didn't see nothing off the wall on the thermal. So, we gotta go back up to the room. See nothing in there. Nothing in there. All right, so we're back in the room. Like I said, we ain't get nothing on thermal. So, it's pretty much going to be a vigil for the night. Uh, let's see what we can catch, what we can't. Oh. And hopefully, we'll find something. Maybe I'll find something when it comes across for the evidence tomorrow when I'm going through it. But as of right this second, not a whole lot's happened. The only thing that happened was when I was walking through the piano room to the living area or whatever, I had a uh, felt like spider walking through spider webs at one part. And it was in that big open archway, so I didn't see anything, didn't pull anything off my arm, so it is what it is. So Hopefully, we'll be able to catch something later on tonight. All right, until then, let's be looking for some more. It does again one now. No.
Dobrze. Once a good meal was in this room. Is this where the original kitchen was? Yeah. Somebody in here? Can you talk to me? Look at that. Can you make this light up? Awesome. Can you do it again? Awesome. This way. Can you make it light up red? Can you make that light up for me? Can you make it go up a little bit more? So, my final rundown on the Kate Shepherd house. Well, it's active as far as EVP-wise. I didn't have a whole lot happen when 
with any of the equipment except for maybe the REM pod going off one time, which was strange because it didn't light up, but it made the noise. It wasn't a temperature alarm. Um, the house itself is a wonderful house, beautiful house. And I imagine that it'll stay a beautiful house. I'm pretty sure the owners are going to take good care of it. Uh, it's just a nice laid back place. If you really want to get away for a weekend, I recommend going and staying. Maybe a night or two. It's, like I said, it's got that down, down home southern charm to it. Uh, had a few EMF spikes throughout the night, mostly in the kitchen, around the kitchen and butler's uh, pantry area. And... All in all, I mean, it, it's a nice place to investigate. I didn't get to go to all the rooms I wanted to, but maybe next time I will. But yeah, it's, it's laid back, pretty laid back. I mean, I got a couple of VPs that told me to get out. And this is after I done went through some of the stuff. And, but I didn't feel threatened at all. I have, maybe I was just getting on their nerves asking questions so but yeah I mean been a nice laid back place uh if you go in to investigate I would focus mainly around the kitchen area and possibly I stayed in the barber room and the barber room is where I caught most of the EVPs that um I know it's rumored that there's an older lady and a real young girl that's supposed to be present in the place. I only picked up, I think it was like two EVPs of a female voice. All the EVPs that I picked up upstairs in the barber room is a male voice. I caught one that said, I'm the son, so I'm taking it as one of Kate's brothers. The house is named after her, but her whole family lived there. And... Like I said, I caught one that said, I'm the son. And there were all male voices up there. So I don't know if it was possibly both, maybe her brother and her father or whatever, which I didn't get to go to Isabel's room either, which I don't know which room Kate really stayed in. I didn't get uh, too much of a tour or whatever when I went. I ended up talking to an employee for a minute and I didn't get any of that information. I didn't want any of that information because if I caught something and then later found out, then that would verify what I ended up catching. But yeah, I mean, if you ever come to Mobile and want a nice quiet place to stay, that's the place. And hopefully, like I said, uh, we'll be able to go back sometime and just look around so if anybody goes to investigate the place i would mainly hit the kitchen area the pantry butler's pantry and i i didn't focus too much on the uh parlor room but i caught a evp in the piano room one in the little living area and if at one point it felt like i had walked through ectoplasm like spider webs, walking through spider webs, walking from the piano room to the little living room area in the big archway. But I looked down, there wasn't nothing there. So we got that. And the weirdest thing was when I went home that morning, on my way home, I had the air conditioning on my truck just turned on full blast with the switch still being off. So maybe I had a little hitchhiker. Maybe I didn't. Maybe it was just something with my truck going on. But that was a weird incident, and I really wish I would have caught, be able to caught that on camera. That would have flipped you out, because I was like, what? <laughs> but anyhow, yeah, if anybody if, if investigates that place and you've seen this video, hey, give me a, 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 a me send me a message, get in contact with me at maps dash, uh, or maps at maps dash paranormal.com and uh shoot me an email because i'd like to compare some of the stuff that i've caught to 
some of the stuff some other people has caught. So, yeah, I mean, it was a nice night to investigate. Everything was A-OK. -okay. Ended up catching a bunch of EVPs. Just a couple of visual things. Nothing like no full body apparition or anything like that. But, hey, that's a once-in-a-lifetime event. So, like I said, if if I'm showing you what I call, do you think it's haunted or not? Let me know in the comments.